Hi, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to add quick links. We're here on the home page, on our public site home page, and we see over here on the right we have quick links, the quick links web part. There are two links here right now. Learn how to add a page and learn about a team site. These are links that link to Microsoft, and they give you a little bit more information about SharePoint. But you don't need that, of course, because you have me. But we want to add more links, and we look, and it's not real obvious how to do that. If we come over to the news web part, we see that we have a big add button. But there's no add button over here at Quick Links. So how do we do it? It's a little more complex, but it's not too bad. Trust me. What we have to do is open the entire page for editing, and then we can edit the Quick Links web part and add those links. You see the big edit button up here? We're going to go ahead and we're going to click on that, and it will open up this page. Now we can come down here to the Quick Links web part, and we see Add Links. We're going to click on that button, and it will take us to Recent Items. And these are things that we have looked at recently on this website, and we're not going to look at any of that. We're not going to bother with those. We can go ahead and we can upload something from OneDrive. There's nothing there that we want. If we click on site, it'll show us other places in this site, the document library, site assets, the site pages, and we could upload something from there. We could upload something physically, and actually that's what we want to do. We're going to upload the job description for the business development manager. So we'll select that and click open. And before we click Add Item, I also want you to see here that we can add from a link. If we click on this, and we'll do that in just a minute, so hang in there with me, we can link to other sites, either internal or external. But this is the item we want to upload, and we could add more, but it's okay. We just want this one. We're going to go down here to the bottom right and click the Add Item button. And the Quick Links panel opens up now, and we see the link, which we could change. We have the title and that's okay. The thumbnail, it's auto-selected. It's just choosing a word icon, and that's fine, but we could put a custom image if we want. We can add alt text to the thumbnail image, and I'll put something like Word document, and I can give this a description if I want. We'll put in something like link to the business development okay all right and there is our description we'll go ahead and we can look at the layout options and you see that we have different ways of laying out the quick links but I'm fine with list and we can choose to show the icons or not or show the descriptions but we're okay, I think, with all of our choices. When we have that looking the way we want, we simply publish because you'll see our page has already been saved. We can hit the Publish button, and there's the link. And if we go ahead and click it, it opens up that document for us. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go to our HR team site, and let's add a link here to an external website. We're going to go ahead back to the edit button, click there. We're going to add a link. We're going to go down to from link. We have a link, the start of a link there already. We're going to delete that. We're going to go to the Sherm web page. Since this is the HR site, we might as well link to some HR resources. It's not an item for our organization. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and select open. And we can see what it looks like. We see the title. That's fine. Again, we can change the image if we want. We can add alt text. I'm just going to put something like website. And description. I don't need to bother with a description, I think. And that looks pretty good. We're okay. We're going to close that. 
and publish. And there we have it. And again, we can click to that. And it takes us right to that web page. So now you know how to add Quick Links to the Quick Links web part. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.